Hey guys, right over here we have the 2022 Kia Telluride LX. This is one of the lower trim models when it comes to the Kia Telluride. However, it looks pretty dang awesome. You're going to get a price point of $30,977, as well as that the odometer reads 20,178 miles, meaning that you're going to get a really good bang for your buck, especially when it comes to the mileage. Now, with that as well, you're going to get the gray exterior paint color with the black interior, and we'll be checking that out very soon. Got all-wheel drive with this drivetrain, as well as a 3.8 liter b6 engine with an eight speed automatic transmission and it gets 19 miles per gallon in the city with 24 on the highway now with that as well here at the sewer car company due to us being on a county island you get to save around two to three percent when you purchase a vehicle from us because guess what we do not have city sales tax that is one of the best features that we have here at the sewer car company now you get 291 horsepower as well as that you get an msrp of thirty three thousand three hundred and ninety dollars and a warranty which is which covers you for five years or sixty thousand miles which is awesome so if you have any other questions about those details definitely let us know um, we are our goal is to basically try and save you money because especially nowadays when it comes to car prices they're just so much more expensive so without that city sales tax and not only that but that msrp you're going to be saving quite a big chunk of money now let's check out the exterior of this vehicle real quick you're going to get the kia telluride badges up at the front you're going to get your daytime running headlights aluminum alloy wheels keyless entry for the driver and passenger door handles as well as that those blinker lights that are going to be on the side mirrors not only that, but if we go to the back, you get those beautiful tail lights, the all-wheel drive Kia and Telluride badges on the back with your rear sensors. Now opening this up, we can actually see that we also get a manual tail lift gate. You're going to get lots of trunk space. Let me tell you, this comes with tons of trunk space, 12 volt port to the left, USB ports for those in the back. So this is a third row right over here. So if we actually just take this up, you can kind of see the comparison between that trunk space. So yeah, a little different. Let's actually put that back down. But let's go into the interior. So yes, this does not come with an automatic tail lift gate, but it definitely does make it up. Inside the vehicle, as you can tell, we got that bench row with the leather seating. You got really good tint on the windows. Not only that, but a Harmony Kardon stereo system, a 12 volt port here in the back with the cup holders that are right over there and right over here as well. Now going inside of the vehicle, um, you're also going to notice this, USB ports that are gonna be on the side of the seat. So this comes with three USB ports or two USB ports in the back and a 12 volt port for charging. Going inside the back, you're gonna get manual adjustable sitting for the driver and the passenger. You get a leather wrap steering wheel that comes with lots of great things, adaptive cruise control. You're gonna get lane assist or actually, yeah, lane assist as well as blind spot monitoring with your traction control button as well. Turning this on, this thing just feels so luxurious. It's big, not only that, but it's just got so much tech. So again, adaptive cruise control right over here. We actually go to driving assistance right over here. Let's click OK. You get SCC reaction, which is basically that emergency reaction. Driving assist features. You get the driver attention warning, forward safety, lane safety, blind spot safety, and parking safety with all those sensors. Going down over here, you're going to have your center console, piano black plastic, making it just look absolutely sexy. And not only that, but cup holders, USB port over there, 12 volt port, and another USB port. So you got that charging going up over there. You're also going to be getting your different driving modes, snow, eco, comfort, sport, and smart with the tilt axis lock button right over here. So you just click that and I'll turn on. You get your um, auto start, not only that, but your electric parking brake and your sensors with the auto hold. So you got plenty of things that you can go through and try to uh, save as much gas as you can. You're gonna have your brushed metallic buttons right over here with your AC system, and they still actually have the tag, so I'm not gonna take those off. If you wanna purchase this car, you're gonna wanna take those off. Now, this also is actually pretty cool. So it also has a little bit of storage down there, but you get a rear view camera with your rear view sensors, and not only that, but it comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and plenty of other things you can go to set up, and you can go to general, you can go through all those different features, including the driving mode. Now, going up over here, you get your rear view mirror, sunglasses holder, as well as the lights and the Kia Connect system. So if you have any other questions, let us know, and we'll see you guys in the next video.